check. Uh, I don't know if I, if I can control my slides. Can I control my slides? No? Yes? Okay. Uh, okay, thank you, uh, Ratna, for introducing me. Uh, I will uh, present something very different because I'm from architecture department here. So I will <laughs> explain or I will present about uh, what our students and some of our lecturers work on on, on bamboo, uh, as Pak uh, Ketua Yayasan said earlier this this afternoon. Uh, uh, currently, we know bamboo is uh, recognized as a low quality material. It's, it's, it is associated with simple building. But now in Bali, we have found a lot of bamboo building using uh, very extravagant style, well, very huge uh, size uh, and can 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 you play my slides, please? <laughs> I where is my bamboo? Ah, can you help me, Donny? Yeah, thank you, Donny. Wow! <laughs> this is the work of my students. Now we will see how they work. Okay, thank you. Uh, yeah. Uh, thank you. Uh, this is my slides. Uh, I don't know where bamboo is really uh, coming from. I mean, the word bamboo. Some say it is from Dutch who introduced uh, the word bamboo. Some said it was coming from uh, Malay. Some uh, some said it's coming from uh, Canada. It's, very, it's quite uh, interesting Then one says that bamboo is coming from uh, Canada. It is uh, actually grass. Uh, very tall grass so it can grow very fast uh, bamboo is one of the fastest uh, plants uh, growing plants in the world so it can grow like uh, almost one meter in one day in some some species of bamboo not all species of bamboo but not all species of bamboo can be used as a construction uh, material some bamboo we eat some bamboo yeah uh, do you eat bamboo as well i think so yeah in Malay. they don't eat bamboo yeah, we eat bamboo. Yeah, yeah. Some some bamboo are good for food. Some bamboo are good for construction. Some bamboo are good for uh, making ropes. Uh, they have uh, several uh, characteristics. Uh, yeah. Okay. I will not uh, discussing this uh, too long. Uh, here, where bamboo grows, uh, they they are not growing in all part of the world, but in the tropics mainly. Uh, in some uh, part is. Uh, on the uh, subtropical uh, areas such, such as uh, China and Japan uh, on, on top. But mostly in, in Africa, in India, and of course in Indonesia and Malaysia, we found a lot of uh, bamboo is growing. That's why we can find a lot of bamboo culture in that uh, areas, in the color uh, area. I will not go to this, and it is uh, about the same. And we have economic and cultural Oh, values of bamboo. Uh, you find a lot of <laughs> uh, they use very creative. We use it for uh, daily tools. We use it for uh, chicken cages. We we use it for everything. And now you can find bamboo in uh, many uh, hotels uh, uh, around the world. In Bali, bamboo is very important for our daily uh, cultural activities. We use bamboo for penjor. If you see penjor, see bamboo pole with a lot of uh, uh, decoration. We use bamboo for uh, Hmm. Funny. Okay. Anyway, uh, from a very small uh, structures on the on the right to a, very, uh, a more complicated one in the middle, into a single bamboo pool uh, on the left. Yeah, here is bamboo in Indonesia. There are two groups of bamboo. The first one is bamboo that grows uh, singularly, and other group is. Uh, that grows in groups, like in the in the bottom. So some are group in in one uh, one soon, and one is spreading. Uh, there are two different types. Bamboo that are grow spreading are not good for uh, building materials. They are they are good for for food maybe, yeah, or for for other uses. But bamboo for uh, building uh, materials usually are that grows in groups. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, there are. Also some uh, gigantic uh, bamboo, but unfortunately, we don't have it uh, a lot in, in, in Bali. Uh, we can find it in, in Sulawesi, and we can find it in Thailand. But uh, I have uh, 
some some somebody I, I forgot who in uh, tell me that bamboo in in Thailand is not good for construction although they are very big like in the middle uh, in, like in the picture in the middle uh, that because the, the bamboo uh, in the middle is uh, is not uh, in groups they are spreading uh, this one is good for construction a bamboo that grows uh, in groups uh, here this is the, the bamboo that grows uh, spread they are not in group tidak di dalam rumpun uh, there are uh, several qualities of bamboo uh, let us see hmm. uh, this is a uh, very technical i will not uh, explain this one why i cannot go next where should i put ah here uh, uh, doesn't work <laughs> ah okay uh, traditionally, uh, a lot of uh, traditional people use bamboo for bridge. We cannot find it. In Bali, we call it titi, uh, titi bamboo, titi ting. Yeah? But we now we rarely see this kind of, of, of bridge in, in Bali or in any part of the world uh, because uh, we are now have a more advanced uh, technology to use uh, to, to construct uh, bridge and here in traditional construction we can find it in also is uh, Asian uh, regions. The left one is in in the Philippines, uh, in the middle is in Java, and on the right is in uh, Nusa Tenggara Timur or East Nusa Tenggara where they use uh, bamboo a lot. So it is very popular because first cheap, second they can grow anywhere in Southeast Asia, and then the third is you don't have to have a very skillful uh, technique to construct with bamboo. Uh, anyone can build it. That's why it's very popular in the past, not now. Uh, now uh, they are recognized as um, material for poor people. <laughs> yeah. uh, so everyone uh, left bamboo because they don't want to be associated with, with poor people. They left bamboo. But then, uh, I hear, yeah, the, everyone can build it. You don't have to have a professional training. You don't have to go to school so to be able to construct bamboo. Uh, you can go with your neighbor, then you can, boom, you have a bamboo building. But then it replaced by, uh, by concrete, by a more uh, advanced uh, building materials that is associated with uh, progress, not with the past. And bamboo, somehow we forget about bamboo. Uh, here because we we need huge building we need a very tall building where bamboo cannot be used to construct this kind of uh, building but then since like one or two decades ago okay uh bamboo becoming more popular because uh, especially in tourism industry because why because Modern people, they love romanticize the life. <laughs> they, they love drama, eh, right now, yeah? <laughs> So they want to be, I am an ancient person. So I am not a modern person. That's why they are try to find uh, places where they can connect with nature, where they can connect with natural material, where they can uh, go outside the concrete box of the offices, so bamboo, is uh, again uh, gaining its popularity, especially in uh, hospitality uh, building. Uh, it's too fast. So many architects uh, in Bali are ex, uh, trying to use bamboo in a more advanced way. They are trying to, to experiment with bamboo. They are trying to build a big building with bamboo. They try to make exotic uh, building design with bamboo and then Suddenly, since like of uh, one decade ago, bamboo gained its popularity in Bali. Uh, you can find uh, bamboo from Nusa Dua to Ubud. You will find a lot of uh, big or gigantic uh, bamboo buildings. And that was popular since one decade ago. Why? Because now capital, they need to be to get uh, return on investment very fast. And by building with bamboo, they can start their business in six months, while when they're using concrete, they, they can only start their business after two years. Now you start it, you have to wait until two years, then you can sell your building. But with bamboo, 
now you start in six months, you can uh, start selling your, your, your buildings. It's good for business. That's why bamboo gained its popularity. Uh, here, uh, traditional bamboo bridge. Uh, uh, they are also uh, experimenting with uh, civil engineering. Anyone from civil engineering here? No? Uh, they, uh, you are from civil engineering. So this building is not uh, the reason why the form uh, is, looks like this. It's not because of aesthetic um, reason, but because of the civil engineering reasons, because uh, how they, they put uh, the strength of bamboo. Uh, here, the uh, Elora Hardy trying to experiment with big, tall uh, building with bamboo. This is green school, uh, quite popular in the world. Uh, they are trying to build exotic buildings with bamboo. So it's no longer only a very small hut, but it's huge, exotic, beautifully uh, designed bamboo. <clears throat> Uh, here also, uh, Arsnet magazines uh, uh, report. This is this this is maybe the most beautiful bamboo building in the world. It is in Ubud. Hmm. Oops, oops, back. Ah, okay, that's why a lot of now a lot of um, young generation, a lot of teenagers are interesting uh, in uh, designing with bamboo. A lot of uh, workshop now we can find in Bali, including one. Uh, by our students, uh, we also have this kind of uh, bamboo workshops. But it has new problem. What is the new problem when bamboo gained popularity? Oh, they become exclusive and expensive. We cannot afford it. We cannot build that kind of building. We cannot uh, access that kind of building except we have money in our pocket. Uh, we have to buy the uh, expensive food or we have to stay in the very expensive hotel. That's the, the new problem when bamboo gain its popularity and when designer touch uh, bamboo. This is uh, our motivation, how to make it accessible. So we design uh, what we call uh, this uh, construction method. We call it uh, joring uh, in order to develop a system that can be constructed by non-specialist workers that can be developed by uh, people who has uh, no special training in bamboo. So everyone can build it. And we have tried in our lab a uh, lot of uh, type of, of, of constructions. Uh, we work with uh, our students and we, 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 we are trying. Uh, we get new student, we just put it in the room, construct something, we have this uh, without uh, prior training for them. So they develop a lot of uh, experiment with this uh, with this system uh, here it's back 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 uh, here uh, back 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 one <laughs> it's hard to control these things <laughs> and then we bring it to the field uh, we try to build a bigger uh, kind of structures and now a lot of uh, events invited us to construct bamboo. Now we are in Ubud Reader and Writer Festivals. We built this uh, pavilion. We uh, Last month, we are in G20 sites in Nusa Dua. We construct uh, Pasar Nusantara, a lot of uh, small uh, stalls using this kind of, uh, of system, of bamboo system. So making it accessible and making it uh, simple is not easy. A uh, lot of uh, challenge. And then we are also bring it to the temples because the, in the temples they are not used stand uh, instead of bamboo. In the past they used bamboo, but now they use stand. And we are trying to uh, bring bamboo back to the temple. Bapa, uh, yes. uh, you you have one minute. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, it's close to it. so you will go to this village on 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 Sunday, and hopefully I can uh, go in that place. This is some of. Uh, uh, materials that, that are used. So uh, the motivations by using this bamboo, when it's gained popularity and it uh, becoming exclusive and expensive, we, we are trying to make it more accessible. So people with no uh, engineering training can construct this bamboo building. So it will make it popular again. Thank you.